so this is the demo for the uh, like button uh, that is somewhat similar to the like button on uh, Instagram basically we have what we have to do here is that in this question this entire card would be pre-built that you'll get this card with all these icons but you have to implement the functionality of this like button basically here and the micro interactions involving with this button so when we click hover over in fact the let's see the first hover case when we hover over this icon then it should change its state from ideal to hover where this outline should change to red color and when we hover out then it should restore back to the original state so this is the hover state and if we click on the icon then there should be this little animation where, and it should kind of change from hover to the light state and if we click on it again then the same animation in the reverse order and it should restore back to the original state so this is a very simple and basic beginner friendly question where you have to implement this like button and all the micro interaction and functionalities related to it these little little micro interactions make a product more delightful and more pleasant to use and uh, so like i mentioned this is the basic functionality it's up to you how you want to take it further maybe you want to implement some other sort of animation or maybe you want to practice that once we click on it then you make an api call and one and you can mock out the api call and if there is a success then you change the state else you show an error message or maybe you can use like a, you know uh, you can change the state without even waiting for the api call it's up to you so that's the more secondary or advanced part but in this question primarily you have to implement uh, the requirements which i just mentioned that on hover it should change the outline to red color on hover out it should restore back to the original state and on click there should be a little animation and changing the state to the like light state and clicking on it again should set it back so this is pretty much it